How's it going, everybody? I'm Nick Major, your APTV Los Angeles correspondent. Today, I'm out at Warp Tour 2014. Next to me, I've got Dan and Kyle from Real Friends. You might recognize Dan. He was on the cover of our 100 bands you need to know in 2014, so obviously the band is one of the bands you need to know. So how are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a little hot today, but... Yeah, we just came out of the desert, though, so it's not too bad. So I'm complaining for nothing, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, stop complaining. Stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play... A fun game. You guys are in a band, so I'd assume at one point or another in your life you were a fan of music, maybe. Yeah, is that safe to say? I used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be, and then I joined a band. Life. Yeah. So we all have those memories from CDs we bought, from CDs we still love. Mine was Insync, for example. JT for life. <laughs> this one's for you, big guy. But uh, so we're gonna play a game of first, last, best, and worst. We're gonna talk about the CDs that we got. We're just gonna have a great old time. I ever bought was the Rugrats movie soundtrack. Um, it had I can't even remember who did it. It had, it had like the full band version of the yeah dun, 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 dun. yeah, and that was tight. That was sick. Sick as shit. How old you know how old you were for that? Because I Rugrats I was, when I was a kid. That was some serious stuff. I was ten. I was in second grade, and uh, I mean I was just tearing shit up. You remember the first album? Uh, the Will Smith album, Big Willie Style, I think it was called. Was it clean rapping? Is that pretty much what it was, or what kind of? Yeah, music? yeah, it was from Target. It was like, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was. I could probably still enjoy it if I listened to it now. But yeah, I think I, I can hear some Will Smith coming through on your instruments. You know, yeah, you, you're definitely. <laughs> so are you a fan of him still? Have you stayed in touch with any of his other music stuff he's come out with, if not his movies? Not really. The Fresh Prince theme song is great. Forever a classic. That's forever yeah. class for everyone. Yeah. If you say it's not, then yes. unfortunately you're not telling the truth. Now, when we were kids, some of you watching might not know, we used to buy CDs. CDs. We could go to the stores and pick up these compact discs and put them in CD players. Now you have these fancy touch screen phones and stuff, but I still buy CDs. So, see, perfect model right there. So do you remember the latest, I hope you remember, the latest album that you bought, unless you haven't bought one since the 90s? The latest album I bought, I bought the new Every Time I Die CD because they, um, they just had it early and I saw them the first day and they were like, yo, we got it. And I was like, cool. You digging it? Yes. Yeah, I know. Have you been a fan of those guys or is that more on Warp Tour now? I, you get to... No, I've, I saw them a really long time ago uh, for the first time in like 06, like a little bit after they put out Gutter Phenomenon. And I, I've, wow. yeah, I've been seeing them uh, on and off for, yeah, since 06. So you'd recommend that album for yes. all you people looking for a new CD to pick up? Yes. Every time I die, it's sweet stuff, believe me. And then um, we all have some CDs. I have some CDs when I look back now, too. I'm like, ooh, that was a pretty terrible CD. Or just CDs that aren't very good. Yeah. So is there a CD that you would deem, no insult to the artist or anybody behind it, but just in your opinion, it's just maybe the worst album that you've... That I've bought? Uh, the worst album that I've bought... Um Looking back on it now, I loved it in eighth grade. It, um, it was "Take a Look in the Mirror" by Corn, and like just now, I kind—I just like grew out of it, and it's just like, like it was kind of one of those things. It's like, how did I ever really like it? And but at one point, were you just totally into it? Oh, yo, I, I brought it to my grandma's house, and um, <laughs> and I would put the radio like super low, and I just sit next to it and listen to Corn, and um, be like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Shut up, I'll fuck you up. And then, like, you know, my grandma's just, like, in the other room, like, just reading the newspaper. Like my children created. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now you look back and you know why she might have been a little... Yeah, and it's like, oh, come on, man. Come on. What about any CDs that you're a little, eh, about? Cold Chamber. Cold Chamber? Cold Chamber? Ever heard of them? Cold Chamber. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, I'm 25. There's a new metal band called Cold Chamber. When was this around? 2001? Maybe it was terrible. Look up Coal Chamber. It's really terrible new metal. <laughs> That's the best I, way to get someone to look into it. Look yeah, them up. They're horrible. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Coal Chamber. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awful. I used to love new metal, like, so much. Like, big oh, yeah. baggy Jinko pants and everything. Yeah. 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 So you were all into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still love Slipknot, though. Yeah. Oh, so I think yeah. Slipknot. Well, I will. Really like, new metal. I don't know. Well, they're, they're great. I love But Slipknot. while we're talking about new metal, though, System of a Down is still sick. Still sick. I will say that. I'll go on the record. And, uh, still sick. Still sick, so you're in support. Yes. And now I, I know I realized I just did worst. Did I do uh, did I do best? You didn't do best. Look at me skipping over my own game. Come on now. So the best album. What's that one album for me? Like, Blink 182, Enemy of the State. Thank you, Mark, Tom, and Travis. Yes. Ooh, but what's that one album that will always hold a place in your heart as the best album? 
Well, what I, I, I have two bands in like the upper echelon, like the, you know, you can't really touch them, you know, and it's, uh, Blink's one of them, actually. I had, um, I had Enema of the State was the only CD I had when I went on a vacation with my family to Florida. There was a hurricane, so we couldn't do shit. Uh-huh. So I was just sitting around. Just I'd listen to Enema of the State like at least probably 200 times on that trip. And then I got I actually got uh, the Untitled on that trip as well, and I listened to that like all the time. So I'd say probably those two. So that'll always be a good memory of yeah. you listening to Enema of the State nonstop during the hurricanes yep. of fun. Best CD that you will always love? I would say I remember buying uh, Blink-182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. I would say that nice. that's a great album, um, and I remember I used to listen to that quite a bit until it, got, until it got scratched. The CD. Yeah, yeah. The one problem with CDs, kids, they get scratched. Yeah. Like yeah, Blu-rays. Wait, now here we go. We can explain it to them. CDs are like Blu-rays. It's like a Blu-ray disc. But not blue. So it's stupid. <laughs> and they get scratched, but I got to say, obviously, all Blink-182 fans, and you guys, fortunately, there's kind of this little pop-punk revival happening, I think, to where it was gone for a few years. And so thank you guys for helping get in on that because oh, you're yo. coming out with some sick stuff. No worries. Thank you. So you're going to keep it coming? Um, you think yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to I'd like to explore more, yeah. but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, we got thank this you. record. We got this record, and then we'll, we'll see where we got we this take. one. We might implement, you never know, some corn esque yeah. some Will Smith-esque, new some new metal into yeah. some real friends. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely lots of new metal on our second full-length The album. next CD that's coming out. And then, uh, so thanks so much again, Dan and Kyle from Real Friends. Be sure to check them out. One of our hundred bands you need to know. You need to know these guys. You pretty much know them now. You know what CDs they love. And I'm once again, Nick Major, coming to you from Warp Tour. I'm your APTV Los Angeles correspondent. I almost held your hand down there. Sorry about that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Nick underscore Major to be up to date with all my latest interviews. And I'll see you guys next time.